The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Inutabi here with the Masters of the Universe Masterverse Unboxing Review. Today we're going to take a look at He-Man Galactic Protector, or based on the new adventures of He-Man, Space He-Man, I like to call them. So we're going to take a look at this figure. It's a Target exclusive. Target shipped it in the mail, ordered it last week and got it really quick. So good on them to get it here in such a fast fashion. Uh, really excited to take a look at it. Don't have real a connection to this. This is after I was getting them as a kid, so... Uh, you know, the whole Starship Eternia and all that stuff. I uh, really have no information on that. You can go Google that. It's really outside my realm, but I thought it'd be a cool figure to add to the Masterverse collection and kind of mixing it up. And that's what I like. It's kind of a, a multi-line thing they've done. You know, Revelation is okay to me. I really like the new Eternia stuff. That's been fantastic so far. And now, you know, uh, we've done Princess of Power, uh, which is pretty cool i think and now we're doing he-man i don't know how far i'll go in this line but this is definitely one of ones you, you got to pick up so here it is 30 points of articulation this new graphic here for he-man there you can see him in the plastic shell here on the side we've got he-man galactic protector and on the top uh artwork here he's fighting with his sword and shield and his helmet uh helmet reminds me of some Battlestar Galactica, but. By the power of attorney of the endangered planet of promise is under attack by the evil mutants, leaving the galactic guardians but one choice. They travel back through time to summon the one hero who could save them. He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Cross cell here, we've got Evil End, Frosto, Roboto, Stratos. And I've got all of them. I haven't picked up the Evil End, like I said. I'm just not doing the Revelation stuff anymore. It's cool, but eh. I don't know. Frosto. All got them I gotta do videos on, so stay tuned for that. And nice artwork here on the side, so. You know, this has always been kind of a different He-Man. It's not you know, kind of a skinnier He-Man uh, related to what we know as the five and the five inch figures as a kid. So uh, before we get started on this, if you have not, go up there, hit that subscribe button, help out the channel. I'm trying to get to 5,000 before the end of the year. So if you can do that, you'll help me out. Also check out the other Rejecticons, Kato's Collection Reviews, Larkin's Lair, and Sardar New Spy 82. Let's get out of the package and take a look at it. All right, let's take a look at accessories. It comes with one right closed fist. On the plane, at least you can see the tendons and whatever in the hand. So that's fine. That's fine. We got a, another. Uh, we got a right closed fist. Same thing. Nothing really any different between the two. Uh, for some reason, his <laughs> look at that. I I mean that can't be. It looks like the right hand's bigger than the left hand. I swear it does. It is slightly. So, it is what it is. That's kind of funny. So, we got a helmet here. Kind of goldish plastic. Not a lot of detail to it. Like I said, this helmet just reminds me of like the Battlestar Galactica helmets. Um, but yeah, it's a space helmet. Two little lines here. Two little circles on the back. Flexible enough. So, should fit on them with not much problem. He does have a ponytail, so we'll see how that incorporates. I guess it's going to slide up under here. But, that... He's got a shield, uh, green translucent plastic. I guess it's like an energy shield. Like I said, I don't have a frame of reference for this figure at all. So, but I thought it was cool enough to try out, and uh, it's pretty neat. I like the shield. Got the design here. I guess it's sort of supposed to be like He-Man symbol, maybe. I don't know. You got a peg here on the back. You can plug it in on the arm on the bracer, and uh, we've seen that before. They did that with Battle Armor He-Man. So that. But we've got his armor. Uh, you can just. Plug that on him, and then there's a spot in the back for the sword. So, some details there. We've got one red button, uh, some kind of gauge, and some details here on the back. Got the straps here on the side. You kind of just undo that. And uh, I haven't made my mind up if I'm all running with that or not, but we'll, we'll see. Not quite sure if I like want to do the armor or not, because I'll show you in the figures on here. He's got a like a chest piece too that that seems like that would be fine so and the one really 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 cool thing i like is the sword so 
translucent green, guess energy sword, the power sword. I like the design here. Uh, it's pretty simple, just ridges here down the handle, the, down handle, the handle, uh, and the edge here. Uh, nothing much to it, but I do like the way the green looks on it. Good job with that. Let's see how it matches up against the shield. It's a little bit different shade, but this being translucent is going to do like that. So, and it's solid, feels good. And uh, something on the end of it. Not sure if that's just like a sprue mark or what, but there, there's something there. So that's pretty much it for the accessories. We'll bring the figure in. Here he is. He's a, like I said, he has a di very different look for He-Man. He's got this shoulder piece here with gold and red. Details there. Goes around the back. You've got a, a spot for the sword, which I appreciate because sometimes they don't have that. So you can hold that. That's fine. Like that. Uh, the figure itself is not much to it. It's blue pants. Got a belt here with He-Man on it. Red and gold, silver. And then his boots. His boots, he's got a heck of some space boots here. Look at these things. Gold boots all the way around. Some design on the front. Blue pants. You know, uh, I guess that is the thing with he man. He had pants on and everything. But if you're in space, why not? Face sculpt, it looks pretty good. He's got a ponytail. He can look down really good on articulation. His up is very limited. Uh, side to side, like that. You can do all that. Uh, arms will go up. It's, Rotate around, rotation to the bicep, and double. He's got double, but he's got this bracer on here, so it's gonna it's it's gonna be limited. Yeah, and that joint's tight, so we're not gonna do that right now. So we got a spot here for the shield. We'll try that. Plug that in like that. See how loose or tight that is. And uh, it's been uh, these things have been, you know, all right. I'm not feeling good about that shield. That does not seem like that's going to stay in very well at all. So, don't feel good about the way that is. Uh, hands rotate here. Uh, you got elbows. You got in, up and down, in and out. Waist rotation. We've got the teapot thing, the abdominal crunch you can do here. Uh, leg will go up to there, leg will go back, out to the side, thigh cut, looks good on the pants, I didn't, they adapted the, the muscle into the pants, so that's good, at double knees, so he can, right like that, he feels good, solid, uh, rotation at the boot, and then you've got the toes, which are really, really tight, so, got ankle rocker, stuff like that, uh, yeah, so he's a, He's a solid figure. To me, the only thing I don't like is the hair limits the, the up. I mean, you can do up to a decent point, I guess, but you start to see that joint right there start to separate. See it? I don't know if you can pick it up on camera. You can look back like that. Check him on with his helmet. Pop his helmet on, and there he is. And they've got it cut out enough for the thing on the back. I'm just... Not liking how the, the shield plugs in. It seems like the peg is a lot deeper than the port. It's got a, you know, a thing on it, but it's, this is just a, a round, round peg. It'll go in there. It's just not, I don't feel like it's gonna, let's see. There we go. I just need to angle it a little bit more. So that looks pretty good. Put the sword in his other hand and you got space heat band. So target exclusive. Solid feel. Matt's first doing this this line. Uh, you know, they've done a good job. I, I can't really fault a lot of stuff they've done. Uh, I can't wait to check out Manny Faces. Yeah, that's probably one of the next ones we're going to show up here. Uh, yeah, solid figure. I can't find too much fault with him. You know, the armor to me is a little, eh, it's okay. I don't know. I'm going to put the armor on, take some pictures, and I'm going to throw up the review and just show you what it looks like in both modes. I'm gonna run it without the armor, but some people might like it. Uh, but yeah, and that's pretty much it for the figure. I definitely would, I don't know, I got some paint blemish on the back of his butt here. Just notice that, see that? I don't know if that's coming up on camera, but I don't consider that a big issue. Yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think about this guy. Are you picking it up? You wanna to add to your Masterverse collection in Motu? Do you like what they're doing? Uh, do you think they'll go very far into this line? Cause I know the Skeletor, uh, God, 
Skeletor towards interesting. Though. I remember him a little bit. He's like more of a skull face or something like that. So uh, that'll be interesting to check that out if they do that. But past that, I don't think I can really go too far. I mean, you know, I'm already collecting the Origins line. I don't I can't go crazy with this stuff. But definitely, definitely like having this one. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of the review, what you think of this figure. Are you going to pick it up? Uh, just put that in the comments. Uh, stay tuned for more videos to come. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. You help out the channel. Thanks for watching us. I really do appreciate it, and we'll see you down the road.